Welcome back, all you two-wheel knuckleheads. This is Johnny F. and Hopper, and you're watching MX Unfiltered. So I'm going to keep the digression to a minimum and just get into it. We've got some more info from the man himself, Roger DeCoster. You know, would definitely like to try to have some jokes in front of this guy. Because <laughs> uh, read the room, read the room, right? You know, he'd, he'd, he'd have that just stern look on his face, and <laughs> he'd probably tell you to get that F out. <laughs> anyway, uh, just... Great team principal, team manager for the motocross of nations. He essentially states we've got two riders locked in. That is Eli and Sexton. I'd have to say for 450s, that is the best that we have here in America right now. Because Eli is, <laughs> he's just the tank. That after 15 minutes, he just knows how to hammer down and get the job done. He just doesn't slow down. And then you've got Sexton, who is arguably faster than Tomac, but he makes little bitty mistakes here and there, but he has been more consistent, hence why he's second in the championship right now for motocross. I wonder how that team dynamic in the 450 is going to work because I believe Eli has his ego in check and him being a little bit older, more mature at 29 years old, he can work as a team. You know, he's done this quite a few times. Sexton is probably going to be the guy that wants to show the world, you know, how big his dick is and go out there swinging and win both motos. So that's where you get somebody like Roger DeCoster to kind of reel him in to be like, hey, dude, you could be the fastest guy here, but we need to win it for the team because it's been a long time and this is the home field advantage. That's why they're not going with a 250 guy because they say that the 250 guys just don't have consistency. You know, it would have been Justin, but Justin, his endurance isn't backed up and the, the 250 guys just aren't consistent, which, yeah, I, I completely agree. And so they're thinking of Christian Craig and Justin Barsha for the 250 class. Craig, definitely going to be the most consistent guy right? He's really fast. Like if you look at him in Supercross and, you know, he, he just doesn't know how to push around. And so he's going to have to be starting from mid pack or so, because it's hard for those 250 guys to get the whole shot against the 450s. So he's going to have to, at least in one moto, be racing mid pack. And so he's not the guy that's willing to really push the envelope and push people around. However, Bam Bam Barsha, he gets paid. To put people on the ground. I mean, let's ask Stewart how he feels <laughs> amongst other people, right? You know, even Jason Anderson, because I believe they wanted to have Jason Anderson go down to the 250 class, but he needs back surgery. So I hope he gets back surgery and gets everything ready because I want to see him in Supercross. I think he can be a contender for the championship like he was last year. So if I had to pick, it would be Justin Barsha. Yeah, you got to realize what you're getting is you're getting a guy that, you know, is full of piss and vinegar that is a hothead, at least on a dirt bike, off the track, something else, you know, but he's aggressive, right? So with that, potentially has the risks of him falling down or not finishing a moto, which you don't need. So if you're wanting Team USA to get on the podium, you pick Craig because he's going to be that consistent number finishes that you need to get on the podium if you want to get the overall but risk not even being on the podium at all you go with Justin Barsha that's my way of thinking it so let me know in the comments below if you agree disagree it's I, I can't wait for this to happen just in and here in the United States again this is one of the races I'm excited for 